Hey, how's everybody doing today? <clears throat> I wanted to do a quick talk. Um, first of all, this is my dad's 98 Honda Civic. It's 5-speed, uh, D16Y8. But anyways, I like to talk about these air intake systems. Hmm. Alright. There's a lot of ricer talk that goes around about these things. Sorry if I'm not talking very loud. It's like a little 12 o'clock at night. Parents are asleep, so, you know. There's a lot of talk about these, how they don't gain performance and stuff. And it's just like the actual physics behind it, it's true. Because when a piston goes down inside of the cylinder, um, basically it's not a suction. Everybody calls it a suction. It's actually an absence, like there can't be an absence of air anywhere, it's against physics. So no matter what, your engine will always get air. It's, it always will, unless you actually have a clogged filter, then it's like sticking your hand over the throttle body and stalling out the engine. And that's when you get a running rich condition. But I will tell you my pros and cons about these systems. I like these, first of all, they say that they'll give you, like, what, 10 horsepower at most, and maybe a gas mile per gallon. But, uh, really, they, they, my personal take upon it is that, really, I believe these air filters work best at higher RPMs. Like, when my VTEC kicks in at 5,500, I can notice a difference from, a stock intake to an aftermarket intake but in normal conditions I would say you know really it's not that big of a difference but basically the pros of this are these filters is like a K&N filter Spectre is really not it's a much cheaper quality one but it's really great for the price and they have a lifetime warranty and they almost always cover anything they cover rest of this parts if there's any wear in it, like where it's been rubbing up against something, they won't do that. But they're really good about their customer service. Um, these filters are cleanable. You can buy a kit and wash them. If you don't have the kit, you can spray a little scrubbing bubbles, which on K&N don't do. You need to use the kit because they're all cotton. But on these Spectres, they still have paper layers in them, so it's not as big of a deal. And you just spray it on, literally, as soon as you can rinse it off, rinse it off. Because scrubbing bubbles is pretty hard on air filters. But you should treat, you should use the kit. It's only like $12. And then just uh, get some light oil. If Really don't use WD-40. I've heard people say use WD-40. I wouldn't. But you have that. I use a Canaan kit for this. Overall, though, your stock air intake system has a lot of things that baffle sound. Whether it's the flexible piping, that actually does baffle sound. The fact that it's all plastic, well, flexible plastic or rubber, that also helps buff, uh, muffle the sound. And all those things inhibit airflow. Now, I'm not saying that, you know. It's going to make that big of a difference, but when people actually take their intake manifolds and take a gr dive grinder to it and grind it off and make it as smooth as possible to get extra horsepower, I'm pretty sure it kind of works the same concept. Now, pretty much, statistically, there's not any difference. But personally, I think you get a better throttle response. I think you get more power at more high PMs. I... I can't say that you get better gas mileage, but I might put one on my dad's truck and it got, you could tell it wasn't draining it as fast, which was nice. Um, a lot of stuff that's been proven by testing says it's wrong, but I believe there's still a little bit to it. So take what you will about it. Um, this kit right here cost $60. So... I think it helps out a lot, and also it sounds great. When you have a straight pipe like this, it tends to make the sound echo a little bit more and make it do better. And this is my take upon air filters. So, you can say I'm wrong. This is, I, I found a middle in the two. But, 
I don't know. I think this works better. So I'm going to keep going with it. Let me know what you guys think. Talk to you later.